Hey guys, welcome to Mesh Gaming VR. We are here in Remnith. I got uh, an email the other day saying that Remnith just released. Uh, would you like a key to do one of your uh, uncut gameplay sessions or live streams? And I said, sure, great. Let's uh, grab this and jump in the game. Uh, so it was a couple of days ago, so I'm a little late uh, getting to this. Uh, the game has been out for a week now. Uh, it launched August 30th, uh, recording this on the 6th, so um, right about a week. Uh, it is an interesting concept in FPS where uh, unlike other VR titles where you're just spraying and praying with Serious Sam or Space Pirate Trainer, um, every time you miss, the enemies get stronger. So the premise of this game is make sure you take good aim, uh, you know that you're going to hit when you pull the trigger, otherwise you're just going to be making it harder on yourself. So one thing before we get into the game, um, okay maybe two things. Uh, I did get this for free, but as probably at least some of you uh, know, that doesn't really mean anything as far as the review goes. I am no holds barred, I might feel a little bad if uh, the game doesn't live up to expectations, uh, but I have no problem with telling you guys that uh, a game I was given a key for is not a good investment. Um, anyways, that being said, brings me to my next point, uh, and this is more or less just for YouTubers and streamers. It's not really going to impact anyone else uh, unless you have somebody like a sidekick that is watching you play then it will impact you i'm going to cut to uh, a, another uh, view right now to talk about that so that would be this screen right here uh, when you hold down shift and click play in vr or play or double click the executable uh, you hold down shift until this window pops up. Uh, you will get a set of uh, graphical options where you can come down here and change the resolution. And I usually set this to 1920 by 1080 so that my mirror window is perfect 1080p and I can record it and I don't have to do any manual finagling or resizing of this window. Uh, it's just an easier solution for me. Uh, you can change the graphical quality and this will change what you see in the HMD. I tested that with uh, Table Tennis 11 VR. Uh, on the minimum settings you wouldn't see any shadows, you'd have a lot more jaggies. If you turn it up to beautiful uh, you'd get shadows for the paddles and the ball and the edges and corners of things were much smoother so uh, I usually check this to see if there are any graphics profiles set up, um, but the big thing is I want this mirror window at 1920 by 1080, uh, but when I go ahead and click play here, it starts off, I see right now the outline of a 1920 by 1080, but it jumps back to the uh, 600 by 400 that this is here, and this is frustrating to me, especially because Right now my mouse is locked in here, um, and I have to Alt-Tab, and as soon as I, you, you can't see it because I've got the uh, cursor uh, hidden from what you guys see, I can't grab a corner of this and I can't resize this window. Uh, it's either the mouse is locked or I don't have any access to it. Like even when I click down in the taskbar right now, and you guys again can't see this, uh, it, it's minimized. The game's minimized uh, to the taskbar, and trying to bring it back up, it it just doesn't work. So the mirror on this is very bad. Like I can't even Windows key this back up or do anything with it. Um, it's not. Uh, streamer, YouTuber friendly. The mirror window is pretty much utter garbage. Uh, so that being said, 
unfortunately you're going to have these nasty black bars for the duration of the video. Okay, so it's frustrating. Um, the nasty black bars are on the side. I don't like that. I hate recording like this. It's one of the greatest benefits that uh, Unity has over um, Unreal right now for VR is that you can customize that mirror window and they've just taken that and thrown it out the window. Now my suspicion is that because this game is both VR and a flat game. You can play this with mouse and keyboard, you can play this with a gamepad, you can play this with motion controllers, Vive, Oculus Rift, uh, desktop mode. They, they've you know covered all of their bases with that, but I think the side effect is what I just showed that right now what I'm recording instead of my normal, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, instead of my normal 1080p window, it is uh, 400 by 600 POS, low quality, black bars on the sides, not the right uh, uh, scale, and it just looks like ass to me. These black, I hate these black bars. Th these black bars are horrible. Um, but I'm gonna get off my soapbox on that, and let's actually just get into the game. Strip the settings. Um, we've got uh, some Xbox gamepad. Uh, Cool tips over there. So VR, headset tracking, we are standing, uh, height offset, okay. I don't know that I need this. You can make yourself taller or shorter. That's nice. I don't know what this impacts or affects, but hmm. A nice even one. Sure, why not? Alright, um back. Touch controls, teleport fade duration. I don't know what that means yet. Uh, locomotion, control movement with the thumbsticks uh, on the controller. You are not using for aiming. This will be relative to your head's orientation. Ah, controller facing. Okay, we've got nice locomotion options. So they're winning points back with this. Definitely winning points back. This is more important than the mirror window. Uh, control movement with the hand you're not using framing, push the thumbstick outwards to speed up, face the control in the direction you want to go. So this is what we want. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. This is also thumbstick hand, uh, thumbstick on the controller you're not using for aiming. This will be relative to your controller's orientation. Push the thumbstick on, speed up, and face the control in the direction you want to go. I don't see how these are different. Push this thumbstick to speed up. Da, da, da. All right. Um, I don't know why these are different. Thumbstick head. This is uh, HMD based. I'm going to assume uh, relative to your head's orientation. Yeah. And then teleportation right here. Teleport is instant by default, but a fade can be added through the second. Okay, so that's what the the fade was. This is if the blink teleportation is too much and you need to add a fade to it. All right, aiming hand is right, jump hand is right, movement hand is left, stick turning off. I like all those settings. Um, headset tracking, we did that one. Vive controls. No, we did this one too. Touch controls? Oh, 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 oh okay. Touch controls, Oculus controls. Never mind, derp. I'm derping. All right, so locomotion, trackpad, controller, uh, hand you're using, aiming, push outwards on the trackpad to speed up, face control in the direction you want to go. Uh, control, trackpad, control you're not using for aiming. This right here might let me strafe left and right while this is just pushing straight forwards. I don't know. We'll go with this and see what it does. Uh, right. Uh, targeting angle? Oh, well, I won't really know this until I get in the game. Yeah, it doesn't look like it affects this. I like that it's there, though. Uh, pad turning off, back, okay. So those options are good. Let's take a look at the graphics. So ultra graphics. Uh, sound. Nice sound effects. Not going to screw with anything. Uh, and general settings. Inputs. Motion controllers. Ah, 
I don't know why we had to set this. It seemed to uh, pick that up. But now that we set it to motion controllers, those gamepad uh, tips have gone. Access inversion. Oh god. I don't even want to think about that happening in VR. Um, I don't think we need any of that. Um, that is it for settings and options. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, and it's going to run me through the settings. Huh. Everything that I just went through. Sorry, guys. A brutal experience, not for the faint of heart. Enemies will be ruthless, incredibly powerful, leaving destruction in their wake. Uh, da, 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 da. Golem. <laughs> Service robot. And tin can. Let's go ahead and go wolf. You know what, screw it. Let's go do. Uh, quality rating. Go big or go home. Uh, would you like to turn off tutorial elements? No, we'll keep them on. Uh, would you like to skip the initial cutscenes? Don't skip. Let's watch the initial cutscenes. Hey, it's what, like 20 minutes into the video and we're finally getting into the game. Hmm. You might need to lower those settings a little bit. Oh, hey, my head is out the window. Looks better out here like this. Alright, recent news. It is 12.03. Uh, energy efficiency increased once again. New levitation device in the making. Can't do anything with these. Right, menu button? We're sorry to inform you that you have been fired. Oh, that's great. Let me just jump out of this thing. We understand that you've contributed to the company for quite a while, but that's the very reason why we have to let you go. You cost too much money. It's too much reality in this. Oh, shit! They really meant it when they say they were going to fire me. We can't have employees stay for too long, otherwise they'll know too much. We hope you understand this decision. Yeah, screw you guys. I feel like I just fell out of the matrix. I can't move or do anything yet. Emergency hover cushion activated. Safely landed, okay. Okay, that's pretty sensitive. That's very sensitive. So that could be an option. Turning that sensitivity down. So, onward style. I wonder if I can... Settings, VR, Vive controllers... Um, controller facing really quick. Oh. Okay, so controller facing is just... No matter where I'm pressing on the trackpad, I'm going to move forward. Nope. So let's take that off. Boom, locomotion. Controller face back. No. That was wrong. That's what I want. Alright, so that mystery is solved. This is a little too sensitive. Like, I don't think fine uh, adjustments would be very easy with this. If we're just supposed to speed through large areas, it'll probably work out better. Oh. Hmm. Previous user is dead. Welcome to the remnants. This is this is very weird here. Hmm. I 
I'm not sure how you managed to get here, but I would advise staying as this place can no longer sustain life. Uh, if you'll wander around, you'll eventually find the exit, but before that, Golem will likely vaporize you. As a piece of training software, I can help you with the basics of fighting using this hover cannon. After that, you're on your own. This for you two. If you're willing to fight your way out of here, then let's start. First, find an enemy unit to destroy. I have a feeling that's probably not going to be very difficult. It's very dark over there. I can't see any... That seemed dangerous. Click the left pad while moving to dash. I don't know what I'm supposed to be shooting. Ow. Okay, I dashed. Okay, it just takes a lot of shots. It looks pretty nice. I'm probably doing very bad things right there. Jump! I just one jump. Did they tell me how to jump and I missed it? Oh, there it is. Trackpad. Trackpad on the uh, right hand controller. Or the, uh, the main weapon controller jumps. Uh, on top of fighting enemy units, you need to avoid creating energy scabs as well. Every time you shoot a wall, an energy scab is created. Try shooting a wall. Don't shoot walls, it's bad. Oh, by the way, go shoot a wall. Energy scab spawning. Energy scabs strengthen enemies and can be destroyed to nullify their effects. Shoot four times to destroy. Okay. Keep in mind that you shouldn't shoot energy scabs while they're spawning. This will cause a stronger scab to spawn in its place. So everything that I just did over there, don't do that. Right, so there's where the don't miss comes into place. Med kit. So I probably shouldn't have gone on this difficulty yet. Let's see how this works out. Oh, wonderful. I'm already screwing up. shooting this thing does anything yet. Or at all, ever. Oh, no, 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 no. Bash, damn it. Boss fights. Give me more. 
more health. I'm dying. I put it on the wrong difficulty. This is 200. Or two, 200. Ah, I'm good at math. 2000. Humanity has been developing. What is our little story here? That's it. Okay, so from 2000 to 2245, humanity has been developing. We've got flying cars and floating buildings. Where'd my... What is it? Where'd my big-ass gun go? Easier than the last one. This looks like it's gonna be bad. Change. Squeeze the right grip to switch weapons. Surge. Or charge. Oh yeah, that looks like it's gonna be bad for me. At least that's fixable. I was worried that uh, it was gonna get very unruly very quickly. the charge on this thing and see how bad it actually is. What is that shit? And how can he just walk through it? I like that SAO style warning there. I like the brake shed. Yeah, I think I just ran over that and hurt myself. I have very little health. I feel like there are multiple ways I could be going right now. I was about to say, <clears throat> for putting it on the highest difficulty, aside from that first uh, interaction where they didn't really understand the game, it hasn't been all that bad. And then I go and get myself shot in the face. I like that green effect that shows it's on fully charged. Oh shit, how did I do that? He doesn't shoot at me, he just raises walls. Right, so 
there's our limit on how much health that gives us. I can't tell if that hurt me or not running into that. Doesn't look like it. Oh, shit. Ah, so that over there is my charge meter. That's why there are times I've wanted the dash and couldn't. Oh, this looks pleasant. Yeah, that's not ever pleasant. Still, please, and stay away from me. Oh! I like that they've got different attack patterns, but this one needs to stay the hell away. Way is that way. It's a frustrating one, man. Where did he go? Behind the thing? I could look up. No, he didn't get stuck. Why can oh why can these things like travel through walls? Ow, damn it. I like that it, oh, no, that's not where I want to be. I like that it gives you that red trail to follow, so you know when you've screwed up. They do sort of blend in when you're not explicitly looking for them. Oh, hey, can I get up? No, no, stay, 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 stay. Good, 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 good. Here we go. No, stop, stop, stop. This is what I was talking about, the fine movements. Over here. Not behind the pillar. 
come back. The, uh, the weapon has a recoil that is knocking me back a little bit. Right, this I don't think is going to work as well as I had wanted it to. Cheaters never prosper. Alright, let's uh, throw caution to the wind here. Okay, so I just decided to unload on him, and that appeared to work. We'll try it on this one. Less caution, more trigger happy. That's it, game over. Destroyed here. Two at a time things. Oh, fun fair. I can walk through those. Doesn't, uh, medical doesn't help when you take a direct hit to the base. The charge does seem to be a better weapon. I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm not one for shotguns, but it seems to be doing the job better. Come on. You see the movies here that do. Let's get you out of the line. He's got that initial... Damn it. What is that? That's weird. Okay, come on. These assholes are not gonna be me. Very 
weird that you can shoot through those and walk through them. thing uh, doesn't appear to be as big an issue as I thought it was. It doesn't dash when I want it to dash. That's frustrating. And I hadn't recently dashed, so unless something else is eating that meter. Yeah, unless something else I'm doing is eating that. I don't know why I can't dash at certain times. going to the right. There's a problem. Maybe it's my trackpad. Alright, so dash to the left. I'm not leaving without beating these two. That's just not gonna happen. Five hours later, I may still be sitting here. Why is he changing his pattern now? Maybe I need to ignore Wall Dude and take this guy out first. I need to change something. Something is obviously wrong with my methods. Get this guy on before he can see some.
cakewalk, right? If I can find him, where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to teleport. Kind of bothers me a little that those don't have any collision. It feels like what's the point? I guess they do damage, but at the same time, I can just walk through them. It feels like they should be an obstacle. I drained all the health. I didn't drain that health. No, oh, surprisingly, I'm full on health. That's interesting. Oh, there was another one. I missed the third health pack. And off into darkness I go. So that was level one. I do like the environment. It's very weird looking. No, we're not getting back up that. A lot of haptics in the uh, Vive controllers when you do that. Jump off of a building. Alright, let's meet our newest enemy. From behind, of course. Oh no, not one of these. coming at me from behind was supposed to uh, be what got me there. See, this is weird. I could go up there, I could go that way. There's a checkpoint. Oh, this was the wrong way. This was the wrong Surge. Oh, hey, look at that. It feels like we're in one of those uh, shoot 'em ups where you get the power ups to your weapons. You know, like the spread and the dual laser and the lock on. I feel like this may be more of a negative than a benefit. That's twice the chance to miss. Oh! And these things are in the way of my peripheral vision. I'm gonna 
fall off a cliff at, this, at some point. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I almost did just that. Yeah, it looks like I may have created a number of stars over there. Oh, I definitely just did over there. Oh! I'm glad I can double jump in the air. Alright, two shots with this one. Let's fix some of these scars. What? Yeah, that's just not gonna work. I'm just going to create more scars. itself way too fast. I don't have a single surge. This is when we need to surgically remove those scars. Scabs. Whatever the hell they were. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the double. Seems like it just makes more work for myself. The uh, whole makes them stronger seems to just regenerate the armor. on me. The, uh, the challenge is nice. You're not being spoon-fed easy mode. Again, though, I am on the hardest difficulty. Alright, the government systems were replaced by the corporate board of directors. Borders have disappeared, forming eight major corporations in power. Okay, so the corporate world. Oh, joy. Yeah, 
I don't know if that falling on me is going to kill me, but I don't want to be there to find out. Oh, I got that one too. It doesn't appear to be a good breaking spot. I think I'm just going to have to stop between the planks at some point. Oh, damn it. Finish, 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 finish. Double charge. That might be useful. But again, then you've just got twice the chance to miss. it's obscuring your peripheral vision. Let me find out. It does not do anything. That would have been a nice touch. If the buildings killed you when they, uh, they fell. Oh, why does this look like a big, big... Oh, because there's three of them. All right, that's gonna. That is going to do it for this. So, I don't know. It's very simplistic. Uh, very similar. It looks like there's three types of enemies in general so far. Uh, the hardest difficulty is not as difficult as I would have expected. Um, let's go ahead and respawn and let's take it down to the way that it should be played and jump into this fight really quick. And yeah, let's see, difficulty, let's take it down to the golden difficulty. And let's see how that changes the encounter really quick. And then from there we'll jump into final thoughts. Um, it's a very interesting mechanic here. Um, I'm not certain how I feel about it. It does obscure your peripheral vision, so there's some trade-off. There's pros, cons to having the dual. Um, I think I like this a lot more than the ow, the charge a lot more than the other attack, uh, the surge. So really, it is just health values. That are the change in the building. I can see this being far too easy. 
and getting boring because it's easy. Um, I like motivation to my games, and aside from those little blurbs, there really isn't much of a motivator here. Okay, it started off strong. We got fired, we fell out of the sky, um, we had somebody chatting with us for a second. What happened to the rest of it? What are these golems? Why are we here? What is this gun? I like the who, how, what, when, where, why of what I'm doing. The story is almost as important as the gameplay to me. If you just want to blow shit up in an interesting way, here's a game for you. Maybe he's stuck. No, he's not stuck. This gun feels particularly strong. It's very deliberate in what you're doing. And it doesn't seem like, it, it seems like it's a heat seeking spread. Like wherever your uh, crosshairs are, that's where they're gonna shoot. I don't know, I'm sort of on the fence. Okay, those only took two shots instead of the full four. Oh, you know what? It's easy. The scabs only take two shots. I wonder if the super, super easy mode uh, doesn't even generate scabs. That would be interesting. So, but yeah, I would say the... There you go. Eventually, the majority of the population was employed in one or another corporation. Due to technological progress, almost everybody was employed in the information field. These, I just am not sure if they're enough. It does have that uh, sort of I feel like I'm in the underworld of the Matrix, but um, so the environments are pretty cool. It does have that uh, frustrate you until you end sort of feel. And with that first set of bosses as I was learning the game, well, probably not bosses, but the first set of enemies as I was learning the game, um, I didn't want to just leave and let them win. Goodbye. I have one new item in my inventory. So there are steam uh, cards for this. There are items. So there's that. This is $9.99 regularly. Uh, like I mentioned, I got it free. I'm I'm on the fence. I probably won't play it anymore. Uh, I could see people enjoying it. It's got some positive reviews already on Steam. And I can understand why it is interesting. I don't think it's my cup of tea. I'm curious at how much uh, gameplay you might expect to get out of it. That doesn't really matter. 
that would be a uh, big factor in whether or not it's a worthwhile purchase. I'll probably give it a thumbs up. I usually do if I'm on the fence about something. Um, no sense in leaving a negative review just because I feel like it's not my cup of tea. Uh, aside from the mirror window, I didn't really encounter any bugs. It did exactly what it said it was going to do. It uh, delivered on all of the bullet points that uh, it highlighted. I just didn't really find it super entertaining, but that's probably my personal taste. You guys might, uh, you know, your mileage might vary, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's for me. On that note, if you guys did enjoy the game, you liked the video, please hit that like, sub, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, I gotta respawn. The UI is pretty nice. I will give them that. All of the, the level of options that they've got, the very simple and elegant uh, selections that they've got here, and they even have a quick button quit button and a restart button so oh we missed some video data so there is a collectible uh, aspect to it so there are 10 pieces of video data for you to find um, so I guess that gives you an idea we've I guess gotten halfway through the game in this playthrough um, so there's that but anyways, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.